Hi, I'm Ansley Bartoli. In Taylor, I was a student from 2016 to um, 2020 where I really expanded on my art abilities. Art definitely plays a big role in my life. It's one of the things that has influenced me in like the career I wanted to choose. So I'm still stuck at the moment between if I want to do animation or if I want to do video game design, designing characters and designing like landscapes and aspects. But if I like the coding part, I will definitely want to do that. Seeing animation at a young age and seeing all these other artists with their characters has really influenced me to want to uh, achieve this path. So my style is a very, it's in between realistic and a certain like anime type of style, I would say. I feel my art has made a positive impact in my life with expressing my emotions. Like definitely I know this is for a lot of artists as well, like back in middle school, like all of us are probably going through a harsh time, so I used art to express that. Like I would draw very, and even then I would draw like very like gory stuff or like horror stuff because that was one of my interests in middle school, but then it's also just like the pain or like the struggles I was going through. And then as high school progressed, my art style or my art personally started to become a lot more happier, a lot more whimsical as me as a person starting to get more confident and more happy with like my life and with my friends and everything like that. So my characters changed from looking sad all the time to looking more happy. I say most of my inspiration for my art is probably from online or like stories I've read. Definitely a lot of the characters I'll draw inspiration from like those old 80s slashers and those type of clothing and that type of like hair that they had. And then for my more artsy or like cutesy kind of art styles, I'll draw upon like Harajuku fashion from Japan or just that more like flowy kind of art style that's there nowadays. I'll find inspiration of that on Instagram. I feel art plays a huge part in community because I've seen it bring people together, like my friends, like that's definitely become a community. And even in high school, there's a lot of people that came together because of art, like people that I would have never met. Like even in Austin, where I currently live at the moment, I see art like influence people all the time. People come together and be like, let's draw today. And then it just also helps bring back like youth to a community. Like you'll walk around and you'll see like these boring like buildings and gray, color schemes, but then you'll walk around another path and see these beautiful illustrations that people have made and you're like, this really makes me feel like I'm part of this community. And I decided to join an art um, competition in middle school and just having someone critique my work and say that they really enjoyed my work and even gave me like a medal for it really showed me that, oh, maybe I actually have a, I'm good at this. <laughs> And then going into high school and just hearing like people be like, oh my, I love your art. And then just having people say, oh, your art is amazing. It makes me happy. It makes me want to draw. Really inspires me to continue going with my artwork. To me personally, I really just want to bring happiness to people. And I want to bring inspiration to people like artists before me have. I really feel like me as an artist, that's my job, is to inspire the next generation of artists to also draw. So I want my art to be like an inspiration to be like, hey, I want to be like this person. I want to get to this level and maybe even surpass her with my art. I guess the biggest advice I would give to a young artist is don't give up. Like even if it looks like everything looks like crap, trust me, it doesn't. You'll look back 10 years from now and be like, oh my gosh, my art style has improved so much because I even look back at middle school sketchbooks and I mean, I cringe at them, but then it makes me think, wow, all of this progress I have, taking time to just develop my skills because it won't happen overnight. You definitely need to develop it more and more and don't be afraid to use references or get help. So that would be my biggest advice.